Hello everyone and welcome to a quick STATA tutorial sponsored by the FHSS Research Support Center at BYU. We're picking up where we left off last time. We have just imported a flavor2.csv. Um, so if you don't already have this data set, please go to fhssrsc.byu.edu and click on workshops and go to STATA. Let me just go there real quick. So go to workshops, click on STATA, it'll send you to this website and then just this is the data set that we've downloaded and then you can use this command import delimited flavor 2csv comma clear to put it in so today we're going to be talking about names and labels how to rename variables and how to label variables and then also label the values so as you can see right here we don't have good labels I have no idea what these mean so we're actually going to browse the data real quick so you can see right here, this is red, that means it's text. These are black, that means they are just regular numbers. But V1, V2, V3, V4 are the variable names and they don't tell us anything. But we can see this one right here is name. This one here is probably age. This one, one, two, three, and a four, it looks like it might be the flavor. I mean, it is called flavor2.csv, so this is probably flavor. And then this is probably gender, it's ones and twos. And we see that Derek and Steven are ones, whereas Marsha and Lillian are twos. So that's what we're going to go with. So let me show you how to rename these variables. It's actually very simple. You type in rename, you tell Stata what you want to rename, such as variable one, and then you tell it what you tell Stata what you want it to be named. So this happens to be name. And we're going to do the same thing for all the other variables. So variable two was age, and then variable three was flavor. And then variable four was, let's see, gender. That's right. So that's how you relabel, and you can see all of the, well, rename, not relabel, rename all the variables, and you can see the variables are now named that. But we do sometimes want to actually label the variable, like flavor. What is this a flavor of? Variables are not supposed to be all-encompassing in their description. They are supposed to be a quick reference, whereas the label, on the other hand, can be more descriptive. So we're going to label the flavor variable something that has a flavor. So we can call it ice cream flavor. So what we do is we use the label command. We type in label variable, because that's what we want to label. And we're going to label flavor. And we're going to call it ice cream, if I can spell, ice cream flavor. Boom. Now we can see, let me pull this out so you actually can see it, ice cream flavor. Now it's easy for me to see. Um, real quick, we're going to go to the data browser again. You can see all of the variables have changed, but this gender, what's a one, what's a two? No one really has gender one, that doesn't mean anything, but Derek and Steven are male, so we can change ones to males and we can change twos to females because Marsha and Lillian probably identify with female. So I will show you how to do that. Now this is a two-step process. You have to first create a name tag and then you have to hand out the name tag. Or at least that's a that's a good metaphor for it. So we're going to use the label command and we are going to define this label and we're going to call it sex. And everything that has a value of one is going to be called male and everything with a value of two is going to be called female. So we've created it, but as you can see when I browse the data, I haven't done anything because how does it know that gender needs to be ones and twos as males and females? Why not flavor males and females? That's why it's a two-step process. Now we've created the name tag, it's time to hand out the name tag. So we are going to type in label values, and then we are going to label the values of the variable gender we're going to label it with the name tag sex. So now when we browse our data, you can see that this is male, this is female. Now this doesn't change the value, it gives a label to the value. So if you click on here, you can see that it still has a 1 and this one still has a 2. This is the actual value. All it does, and this is why it's in blue, is it just gives it a label. And that's what we've got for today. Thank you and please stay tuned for our next video.